Hi Aries, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. With that said, before we start, uh, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, Peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's have a look, see what the week ahead has in store for you. So your, uh, oh, okay, so your first card has jumped out and I'll get to that in just a moment. Your um, uh, key to the week or the energy permeating your week is the Justice card from the second week of March in the uh, monthly reading, if you haven't seen it. So your Justice card is about, yes, it's about choice, yes, it's about decision, but it's about the commitments that you make. It's about the things that you choose to really align yourself with and the things that you actually ultimately sign on the dotted line. So this week it could look like contracts, it could look like paperwork. This is a good thing because remember Mercury goes direct on the, on the 9th actually, right out of the start of the gate. And then by the 11th, he'll be like sort of really picking up speed to go direct uh, on his way you know, forward in Aquarius and then, you know, onward back into Pisces. So going to be an interesting week this week, but it does look like there's some sort of paperwork, some sort of uh, documentation that needs to be signed, maybe something that needs to be looked at, or for a select few of you, this might be something that now needs to be re-examined after the retrograde so that you can go ahead and put the you know your name on the dotted line so to speak so your actions and your path ahead you have the queen of wands a fire sign female this would be an aries a leo or a sagittarius this could be an archetype of you, even if you're a guy watching this. Um, so your queen of wands, she's about boundaries, right? She's fun, feisty, vibrant, dynamic, not unlike yourself, right? This is about you tapping into that energy to get stuff done, right? This is about you finding that energy. You've had uh, Venus moving through your sign, so she's been giving you that sort of you know, softening your edges, right? But once she kind of moves out of your sign and into Taurus, that I actually feel like is gonna be, um, it's gonna be an easier energy for you, right? And I kind of feel because Venus wants to harmonize and beautify, right? So as she's kind of coming off there, this is kind of taking the rubber tip off of the sword, so to speak. So this week you could find that you are really proactive, that you're really like, right, okay, let's get it defined. What is it that I want? What is it that I'm going after? And how do I make this happen? Now, in terms of your actions and your path, it may very well be that you have to have some sort of conversation this week that is challenging. Now, your Queen of Wands in relation to your Justice card, consider this week, whatever you are signing, whatever documentation, whatever, maybe even legal situations come up, you might have to fight for something. This might be the week where you have to say, no, you know what, I'm putting my foot down, or this is the boundary that I'm not really willing to have moved, or you know, I'm not really willing for somebody to move this goalpost. It looks like this week you are gonna have to put your foot down in some way, shape, or form, Aries. So good for you. For your communications and conversations, you have the Four of Wands. This is beautiful. There's some really good news on its way to you, and it really does feel like this is, for some of you, this might be about a job that you've applied for. For some of you, this might be something that you've applied for in terms of loans or funding. Venus is moving out of Aries and into Taurus, where she's very happy. And especially if you're an ascendant Aries, that's your second house that she's moving into, right? So this is a really great energy for money, for finances, with your um, four of wands in your communications. This is good news. This is some sort of celebration that's happening and it's it's reason for you to kind of celebrate. And I kind of feel like this is in regards to something that you've already put out there. So this is kind of you getting the good news. It's you getting the go ahead. It's you getting the yes. It's you getting the all clear. You know, that it's that green light from the universe, which is beautiful. And it will come uh, either through, for some of you, it will be a phone call. For others, it will be an email. Um, but for some of you, this is gonna be in person. It will be good news that's delivered to you by a, a specific person. And it could be that this is somebody maybe in uniform, maybe in the legal profession, you know, maybe somebody's making something official and they have to do it in person. Um, 
which is really interesting. And my mum's an Aries, and I've got a kind of feeling of what this is going to be for her. So very, very interesting indeed. Let's have a look at your money and materials. Wow, six of wands. I mean, it goes from good to great to better. This is amazing. I mean, look at this so far as well. You've got all Wands cards, right? Wands is your suit, Aries. It's fire, it's vibrant, it's alive, it's passionate. Uh, your money and materials goes through a huge upswing this week with your Six of Wands, victory, success. But also, this, because it's right off the back of this Four of Wands, this is good news about your money. It's good news about your finances. For some of you, it may be something that you've had to fight for. It may be something that you, you know, you've been going back and forth and you weren't sure if you were going to get for some of you this could be about a mortgage for some of you it could be about a loan for some of you it could be a grant or some sort of excuse me some sort of funding but for all of you in some way shape or form you get a massive boost to the finances this week you get a real sort of yeah you know what it's that moment where everything is kind of lighter and brighter and remember venus is going to be there pretty much all month so that's a really really nice energy uh, well not all month but you know from i think it's from this week onward um i can't remember the exact date that she changes signs um, but money and materials looks really, really great for you guys this week. Lots of good news when it comes to finances, when it comes to things and efforts that you've already put the energy into. And it looks like something that you've been working on this week becomes official. It becomes like an actual thing or an actual uh, entity. For some of you, this could be, you know, you get that piece of paper in your hand that says you are now licensed or legal to do A, B and C, or you are now the proud owner of A, B and C, all right? For your love and relations, I want to be an Aries this week. You've got the Ten of Cups. This is stunning. Right, so to, to bring it back to just a purely personal level, this is right underneath the Four of Wands. This is fantastic news coming directly to the home. Uh, there is some sort of uh, news message. I don't think it's gonna be like an offer or an opportunity. This is something that is literally given to or granted to you. And it's gonna be something that you don't have to necessarily pay back or you know have to think about like, oh, you know, how is everybody else gonna feel? This week, Play your lottery, uh, you know, go and bet on a horse. Um, and I'm not saying be reckless, you know, exercise caution and all the rest of, not caution, but restraint, you're right. Um, but this is beautiful. This is good news that comes directly to you in the home, at the home. This is because your 10 of cups, aside from everything else, means home, uh, you know, but it's that contentment that you feel in home. Now, for those of you that are single, it looks like this week you are meeting somebody that is just as much as of just as much of a firecracker as you are somebody that is fun vibrant somebody that has that um sort of big kid energy about them you know but still very warm still very mature but has that ability to laugh about things and just kind of throw caution to the wind once in a while and it looks like this might be somebody that's coming to you or something you know for some of you this might be about a, a new connection that's already there and this person just says look you know what i want to come and visit you i want to come see you right and it's kind of like you might have been talking about that for a while it just may not have materialized well this week it has all the chances of doing so for those of you that are partnered this is just really great news for your relationship because it means things move into that realm of being settled. There's an opportunity here for you and your partner to get ahead. Maybe you're starting a business together. Maybe you're consolidating your finances. Maybe you're making a big purchase like a home or a car. It's definitely possible. Your four of wands underneath the te uh, over the top of the ten of cups. This could very well be a, a great week for conception or finding out that you're pregnant. And it's not like the, oh crap, okay, we're pregnant and now we have to rearrange our whole lives. This is like, you know what, wow, we're pregnant and, and we're really, really happy about it. What a beautiful energy. What a, I mean, this is a great week for you guys. And it's not just, 
you know, sort of all out there as potentials. This is stuff that is real. Whenever you think about fire and, you know, even with the cups there, this is something that's going to cross over that boundary and move into the realms of, of tangible. Uh, and it's all sort of under the guise of that justice card, which means that it moves out of the realm of a want and a desire and into the realm of being of an official sort of um, acquisition of some sort. Amazing. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up for you. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Take care and I'll see you soon.